Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Tom Mer Meredith from West Red Lake Gold. How are you today, Tom? Good, thanks, Tracy. How are you? I'm good. You know, we always love West Red Lake Gold updates here at Investor Intel. You've recently announced some drilling results, so why don't we start there? Sure, Tracy. Well, we, we announced that we've completed uh, 16 drill holes and we're actually waiting for the results. Results are coming in slow these days because labs are very busy due to a lot of drilling activity around the country. Plus, they're a little bit slower moving because of COVID. So everyone's waiting longer. But uh, we did, we, we are drilling an area at the top of the Rowan. We're now doing uh, surface sampling. So you can do the same sort of sampling. It's called channel sampling without using a drill. You just use saws and chip the rock out. And what this does is it gives us a, a sense of the dimension of the at surface deposit that could be easily accessed for future mining, which makes that actually makes things very attractive for mining companies because their key thing is to get ore material or mineralized material out of the ground and into their mills. And so anything at surface is an attractive starting point for a deposit rather than having to spend tens of millions or hundreds of millions of dollars and years of time to get something into production. You have a surface deposit, you can get going very quickly. So that's what we're working on right now. And we also have other drill programs planned uh, at the NT zone, as well as uh, we plan to do some more surface uh, sampling on the NT zone over top of where we got some good re drill results in the previous couple of years. So we're, we're working to make this property a, not only a bigger resource than the 1.1 million ounces that we have so far, but also to make it attractive to mine. Well, you have some real diehard fans and shareholders, of course, that watch West Red Lake uh, frequently for updates. And as you mentioned, you're drilling uh, results that you're waiting for right now. Do you want to just talk about the drilling that was done that are leading to these drilling results and why this might be so interesting to shareholders out there and new investors? Sure. I mean, the real... The real key in the, this industry is to develop a property that's very valuable to the mining industry. And in, uh, in Red Lake, there are a number of mills operating. They have more capacity than they have uh, material to fill that capacity. And uh, so, and then developing mineral deposits, as I mentioned earlier, takes many years and, and comes at great cost. So what we are trying to do is provide a project that will be very low cost way to get additional material into, into mills. Because the mining companies are the, are the main customer of our, our project mineralization, which is gold mineralization. And then what we want to do is get as high a value per ounce in the ground as we can for the ounces that we have. And currently we're, the market's valuing us at about $15 an ounce. In a strong market with strong demand, which we think will occur between now and a couple of years from now, you should see something close to 10% of the metal value uh, per ounce in the ground, which would mean that we could see 10 times higher valuation for our, our project than we see right now. And uh, so that's what we're working for is to enhance the number of ounces we have and also enhance the attractiveness of those ounces. And that's the work we're doing today. And that was, a, that was the nature of the news release that we put out. So as we await these drilling results, and I hope that you'll do a investor intel interview the minute those drilling results come out, Tom, um, you mentioned that you might be also planning some additional drilling uh, projects here this uh, late summer and fall. Do you want to comment on those? Well, that's the NT zone. So we, we drilled the southern portion of the NT zone, uh, which is about a kilometer in length. Uh, we, we got great results out of 40 holes. Now there's a northern portion that starts to get close to where the Rhone deposit is. And we wanna, we're gonna drill that. We put one hole in, but we're gonna focus on an, the east side of that zone, which is called the Porphyry Hill. Um, we know there's gold mineralization there and that gives us a good opportunity to build up the size of the NT zone potential resource. 
which would add, a, and the NT zone has the potential to significantly increase the number of ounces that we have on our, in our project, because we don't have any ounces on the NT zone in our project, it's all rowing. NT zone can add a lot and it's all right at surface, very close to surface, which would also make it very attractive for mining. So all of that is leading to something that could create great, much greater demand from the mineral industry, which means shareholders got a lot more interest. And I think there's a lot of new shareholders to the gold exploration sector presently. They're looking at prominent zones like West Red Lake or Red Lake, which is a prominent area for gold. Um, would you mind just giving the investors out there kind of an overview of how long you've been on this project, Tom? Well, the company and its uh, West Red Lake Gold has been in the project since 2007 where they made an agreement with Gold Corp who uh, controlled that, the main part of the project and West Red Lake Gold had a couple of other mines on the property as well. The overall project has three historic mines on it, plus another deposit called the NT Zone. I started running the company in about 2014 after I sold my previous company, where we went through a very similar exercise of taking in Timmins, a handful of former mines and turning it into a good mineral uh, package, attractive to the industry. And we we took that company from a value of a few million dollars and sold it for $250 million. And now West Red Lake Gold, when we got involved with the value is a few million dollars. Now it's about $15 million, but we think its ultimate value is much, much higher. So we're just doing the same thing over again. It seems like the market is supporting you with your endeavors presently. We see regular, uh, you know, medium level volume on the stock and the stock is holding strong at its current price. Any comments on that? Yeah, I think there's plenty of eyeballs on us. You know, there are days when we can see quite a lot of volume. Um, to me, it, it feels like the market is just watching and waiting for the impulse buying to come into our sector when all of a sudden the, someone's kind of fired the starters pistol and the race is on and the buying will come. And I, you know, that's, the nature of the market, not only for our company, but for many others that have projects of merit. So we'll just keep working away until that happens, but we do expect it to happen. So Tom, I, I do appreciate you're gonna be hosting an investor talk uh, coming up here on the summer schedule. And so I would be remiss not to ask you, when is that gold bull market coming that we've been waiting for Tom here for the last little while? Well, I think, first of all, I think we are in the gold bull market where, you know, if, if we're in sort of maybe the second gear and maybe we have a five or six gear transmission. I mean, what you see now is gold prices are 20% higher now than they were two years ago. Uh, so that's very positive. Uh, you see a lot of analysts say that gold at $2,000 an ounce is, is a, is cheap $4,000 an ounce is still a, a good value for gold. So there's lots of room for gold to go up and with all the money printing occurring, people are waiting to see that it, when it does start to move and particularly when gold breaks above 2000 and then 2100, you'll, that's when one would expect to see a lot of capital inflows into the junior stocks. So we're, we're watching all those. It's, it's, it's set up to go. It's difficult to say exactly when, but I think, I think it'll, the ball will really start rolling later this year and, 2022 or next year, the technical analysts who I respect see 2022 as being a very strong year. So uh, people are getting into these things now. You see a lot of private placement money flowing in. So-called smart money is getting in now, getting their positions with warrants. Um, and then uh, they'll be well positioned when, when, the, when, the, when it starts to go, because when it goes, it goes very fast. So you wanna be positioned early and catch as much of the ride as you can. Well, speaking of respected colleagues, Tom, that's how we feel about you. So thank you for joining us today. And everyone out there, make sure you're, you have West Red Lake Gold on your stocks to watch. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Teresa.